Alright, so on today's adventure of let's fix something, I don't have air conditioning. <laughs> I know, that sucks. It's a, like a 100 degree day today. So, first thing I checked was the fuses. I have no idea if you can actually see them in there because it's too freaking dark. But, uh, voltmeter, I checked the bottom end of the fuse coming out and going to the unit. Uh, if I have 240 volts, or you know, 220 to 240 coming out of there, then we're good, which I do. Um, the other thing we check is the uh, the contactor here, which is functioning properly. Doesn't appear to be any issues there. Uh, and then we look at the capacitor, because there's not much else in here. There's a fan and a compressor, which are two motors of their own, but other than this stuff here, you just got the two motors. So we look at this capacitor, and uh, usually they're flat on the top, and this one's kind of bubbling. Um, so the next idea is we'll do change the capacitor. Now there's a way to test these with a voltmeter, uh, checking for microfarads or using comp capacitive resistance, um, which I did check, and this thing's pretty much dead. <laughs> um, when you take these out, you're going to have a bunch of wires connected. I have two yellows, a brown, and a blue. So you want to know where those wires go because it's important. My blue wire is from my compressor, my brown wire is from my fan, both of my yellow wires are the commons between the two. And these are actually labeled on top. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but this one right here that has a C next to it is my common, so both of my yellows go into there. This one on the back is actually labeled fan. I don't know if you can see that or it will have an F, so my fan wire goes there, which only leaves the compressor wire. And HERM, or H, is the hermetically sealed part of the capacitor that goes for the compressor. Now, when you change these out, it is important you get the exact same capacitor. Because if you don't, you're going to have problems. I don't know if you can see this, but uh, what I've got here is a 50 plus 5 440 VAC capacitor. So that's basically, you know, 50 amps compressor, 5 amps fan, which is why it's important I have 16 amp fuses in this bastard. Um, so I'm going to go get a new capacitor, and we're going to put it back together. And, uh, yeah, so when I get the capacitor, we'll put it back together and show you guys how it all goes. Okay, so we're back. Luckily, there's a place literally half a mile down the road here that has parts. So we have a brand new capacitor. It's a 50 plus 5 for 40 volts. So, just tightening in the last bolt here on the capacitor. Now we gotta hook up our wires. Now remember, the brown wire was our fan wire. Okay? So brown wire is gonna go to the fan connection. This one says fan. I don't know, I have my freaking hand's in the way. Let me move that. So that one says fan, I'm gonna hook the fan up. Both of my yellows were common. So we're gonna put those on the common terminal. Okay? One more yellow. Okay. And then the blue was our compressor or Herm. All right, so I did some checking. This unit is uh, rated for max current at 50 amps. Previous fuses I had were 60s. I changed those out, put them back to 50. So to quiet, to hush the unit down, I took out the uh, contactor wire, or the trigger wire from the inside of the contactor. I'm gonna put that back in, okay. We're gonna put our fuse cover back in. We got two brand new fuses that work awesome here. Now mind you, one thing for safety on this, shut the power down. I have done that. The main circuit breaker is off right now. So this is one of these pull out disconnects. I don't like these things, I like the lever type, but that's okay. So that's in there. All of our stuff's in place there. The system is on. So now all I need to do, crack open my breaker panel, air conditioning. Woo hee, listen to that. That baby just chimed right up. So yeah, it's a back capacitor. That's what we had a problem with here. And uh, usually a good sign to tell on the capacitors are is when they start bubbling out like this and this shit just stops working, that's usually the problem. So. New capacitor, oh, what the heck is this, a Titan, Titan Pro? 
Um, the GE capacitor you can get on Amazon, they're like $23. However, the problem I have with that is two day shipping. <laughs> I want it now. <laughs> so my local uh, appliance place here, it's like 40 bucks on the thing. So, you know, they're 18, $17 more, but I'll tell you what, having it the same day is priceless. So we're good to go here. I'm just gonna put this cover back on. And this is actually how I figured out the uh, the max current because it has a rating chart here that tells you, granted, it's like faded as fuck, but. Um, so yeah, right now, pressure's working. We're up and running. It sounds awesome. I've got HVAC technician gonna be coming out on Thursday to do a recharge on this only. Otherwise, the unit is working now, we're good. Now, if you're a Southern California Edison customer, you can take advantage of this little box here. What this is, is it's called the discount saving plan. Uh, you allow them to basically shut this thing off uh, a couple times a year and you get awesome credits. They come out and they put this box in and this is all wireless. Uh, what they'll do is they'll, you know, they have an energy saving day, they'll trigger a, an event and usually it's about four hours and they'll send a signal to it and what this will do is cut this off. The fan will still work inside, but this will get cut off until they turn it back on, usually between about four to eight uh, towards the evening time. So either way, this was my little project of uh, let's fix my air conditioning because it's hot as fuck. So thanks for watching. I know it wasn't too detailed, but uh, either way, yes, thanks for watching.